finished that painting yet, Marjorie. We're waiting for our story. I won't be a minute. There. All done. Yeah. Let's have a look. Oh, well, don't touch, though. I think the paint's still wet. Oh, it's lovely. <laughs> What's the story about? It's about Cruncher the Crocodile, and I think you'll find that in this story he behaves very selfishly. Mm. Mm. It was a lovely sunny day, but Cruncher was hot and tired. Suddenly, he hears someone shouting for help. Who's that, he wonders? Cruncher sees Elephant stuck in the mud, but he will not help her because he feels too hot. Cruncher keeps on walking. He's going home for a sleep. Soon he comes to a tall tree and hears another noise. What's going on up there, he shouts. Cruncher looks up and sees Monkey stuck in the tree. But he will not help her. No, Cruncher keeps on walking. Then he notices something moving inside a hollow log. It's Snake stuck in the log. But Cruncher will not help him. He just keeps on walking until he reaches the river. Soon he begins to dream that he is going for a walk and in his dream he meets Elephant. He thinks that Elephant is stuck in the mud and he wants to help her. But she doesn't want any help. She's drinking. Next he sees Monkey stuck in a tall tree. Cruncher tries to help her but she doesn't want any help. Then Cruncher sees Snake is stuck too. So again he tries to help. But Snake doesn't want any help either. As Cruncher lets go of Snake, he falls into the water with a huge splash. The cold water wakes him up and he shouts for help. Poor Cruncher has really fallen into the water. And what a good thing his friends are there to help him out. Uh, it's just as well his friends didn't behave as badly as Cruncher did. Or they'd have just walked away and left him. That's right. You know, I think you like painting pictures of Cruncher, don't you, Marjorie? Always good to look at your pictures of him, are huh? always nice and colourful. Well, that's thanks to you. Oh. Do you remember when I first started painting pictures of Cruncher, I couldn't get the colour right until you helped me by finding the right shade of green. And uh, can you remember what you called it? Oh, yes, that I can, Marjorie. Crocodile green. That's what I called it. Crocodile green. The perfect shade for Cruncher. Well, I must admit, you know, I'm quite good at colours, I am. Artistic talent. That's what I've got. Do you ever paint any pictures, Mossop? Well, you know, now you come to mention it, I don't. And there is a very good reason for that, Marjorie. I haven't got any paints. Not one single solitary paint have I got. Well, I can always let you have some of mine. <gasps> would you, Marjorie? Would you really? Oh, that would be kind. That would be very kind indeed. You'd need a paintbrush as well, Mossop. And some paper to paint your picture on. Ah, that's very true, Tiddler. Well worked out, that is. Wouldn't be able to do a lot of painting without some paper and a brush, would I? Mm. Well, that's no problem. I'll lend you some of those as well. There you are. Oh, thank you, Marjorie. Oh, let's have a look. Oh, yes, I'd be able to do some lovely paintings with that lot. Hmm. Now, all I need is somewhere to work. Um, I don't suppose you've got any room on this drawing board of yours, have you, Marjorie? Uh, oh, well, I you. don't think so, Mossop. I think we're just getting each other's way. Oh, but you could borrow my easel, and then you'd be able to paint out in the garden. Ah, well, just what I was going to suggest myself, that is. Oh, yes. Much better to be out in the fresh air than stuck indoors here. Come on, Tiddler, pick up the easel. Okay. We've got some painting to do. Yeah. I think I'll carry the easel. It's a little bit awkward, Tiddler. Mm. Come on in. Mm. <laughs> Now, where do you want this set up? Oh, don't bother about that, Marjorie. I can look after the easel. That's all right. Just uh, hand it over here, then. Well, are you sure you can manage, Mossop? Oh, yes, of course I can. I wouldn't be much of an artist if I couldn't put up an easel now, would I? There you are, then. <laughs> that's it. Oh, dear, that's lovely. Now, then, uh, that bit goes there, doesn't it? Oh, no, wait a minute. Does that... Uh, I think that's... That's the, that's the bottom there. That's it, you see? That's it. Lovely. Got it now. So, that's about it, then. Oh! oh. <laughs> oh. Why don't you let Marjorie do it? I can manage, Tiddler. There's nothing difficult about putting up an easel. There's nothing... Oh, look, just a second. Just... Um, listen, Marjorie, I think there's something wrong with this easel. If you want my opinion, it's bust. That's what's the matter. Really? <laughs> let me have a look at it. Oh, no, I think it looks all right to me. Yeah? Yeah. There we are. Yeah. How's that? Ah. Oh. <laughs> 
Well then, uh, problem solved. <clears throat> well done, Marjorie. Uh, now, time for a little art. Uh, Why don't you pass me the paper and I'll set that up in the easel for you? Uh, you Shouldn't you wear something over your clothes to stop yourself getting paint all over yourself? <laughs> no danger of that, Tiddler. <laughs> Carefulest painter you ever saw, I am. Anyway, Marjorie never wears anything on top of her clothes when she's painting, does she? <laughs> no, but she's not as clumsy as you are. And I, uh... I do wear a smock sometimes. Most artists do. Mm. Yeah. Now you come to mention it, Marjorie, I do remember seeing pictures of proper artists wearing smocks. <laughs> mm. Stay there a minute. <laughs> Tiddler, do you want to do some painting? I mean, there's plenty of paper here and I can easily get you another brush. Oh, um, no, thank you, Marjorie. I'll just watch Mossop. He's very clever, you know. I'm sure he'll do a lovely painting. Yes, I'm sure he will do too. Ah, there you are. What do you think? Oh, you look wonderful, Mossop. A real artist. Yes, I thought so too. I borrowed them from old Slapop, the artist, you know. Does a lot of painting, does Slapop. Well, you're all set. Mm. Now, have you decided what you're going to paint? Uh, a landscape, a portrait, a still life? Uh, no, a painting, Marjorie. That's what I'm going to paint. A painting. Yes, but what kind of painting? Yes. I mean, if you were going to paint the garden or the hills over there, then that would be called a landscape. Mm -hmm. If you were going to paint a vase of flowers or a bowl of fruit, that would be a still life. But if you decided to do a <gasps> painting of a person, then that would be called a portrait. Ah, yeah. a portrait. That's what I'll do. Yes, in fact, why don't I do a portrait of Diddler? Oh, Mussip, how exciting. Hey, well, stand just there, Tiddler, and don't move. I'll leave you two to it. Have fun. Bye-bye, <laughs> uh, Margie. Oh, now then. Oh, yes. Oh, that's me. There. Oh. <laughs> and, uh, uh. Oh, yes. I think I've captured your likeness already. Oh, yes. Anybody would recognise that if they saw you. Mm-hmm. Now, now for the hair. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But, but you're not going to paint my hair that colour, are you? Of course I am. That's what colour your hair is. It is not. It is. It's not. Don't argue, Tiddler. It's red your hair is, no doubt about it. Red hair is what you've got. Red hair is what I'm red. going to paint. Yes, my hair is red. I know it is, but it's not that sort of red. It's the sort of red that you'd use for painting post boxes, that sort of red is. Or fire engines, not hair. Don't worry about a thing, Tilla. Trust me. I know what I'm doing. Just leave the artistic decisions to me, all right? It'll be a wonderful portrait when it's finished. You mark my words. Mm, are you sure? I'm positive. Now, just keep still and don't move anything and let me get on with the job. Oh, all right. <laughs> oh! Uh, keep still, will you, please, Tiddler? I'm trying to, Mother, but there's a wasp buzzing around my head. Well, just ignore it. It'll oh. go away. Oh, yes. <sighs> Um, oh, for the last time, will you keep still, please, and stop flapping your arms about the place? I'm sorry, Mossop. It's that wasp again. Uh, well, tell it to buzz off. Uh, Ow! Oh. For the last time, will you please stop moving? It stung me, Mossop. The wasp stung my arm. I'm going to ask Marjorie for some ointment. Oh. No, 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 stay there, Tilly. You can't go. I haven't finished your portrait yet. I don't care. My arm hurts. I'm going to put some ointment on it. Oh. No, no, but Tiddler, Tiddler, Marjorie. come back here. Tiddler, you've got to... Marjorie! Please, t <sighs> Typical, isn't it? Plague around all over the place, fidgeting, playing with wasps. How am I going to finish her portrait if she keeps on messing about all over the place? Oh, well, I'll just have to paint something else, that's all. Now, oh. inspiration, that's what I need. A great artist like me needs to be inspired to create his masterpiece. Hmm. Now then, Mossip, what are you wearing that daft get-up for you? Daft get-up? Daft get-up! That's what I said. What are you wearing it for you? Going to a fancy dress party, are you? No, I am not going to a fancy dress party, Posty. I'll tell you why I'm wearing this daft get-up. I mean, this elegant garment. <clears throat> I'm an artist, a famous artist. Can't you tell from how I'm dressed? I'm an artist, 
Well, what an artist, you know you really should have guessed. See me portraits, see me landscapes, and you're sure to be impressed. Hang them in a golden frame and assign them with me name, cos as an artist, I'm the best. I haven't actually done any paintings yet, but, you know, it's only a matter of time. <clears throat> Oh, I'm an artist, and what an artist I just tower above the rest I'm an artist, a gifted artist With such talent I've been blessed See me paintings and me drawings They'll stand up to any test They should be hanging in the Louvre Which only goes to prove that as an artist I'm the best Oh, well, uh, I still think it's a daft get up you're wearing. But let's have a look at these here pictures of yours. Certainly, certainly, here. Yeah. Well, then, what do you think of that one, then? Oh, uh, very nice, very nice. Picture of a birthday cake, is it? Hmm? No, it's a picture of Tiddler. Or at least it would be if it were finished. It doesn't look much like it. Well, yeah, she wasn't a very good subject. Kept fidgeting about all over the place. It... Hey, Posty, why don't I do a portrait of you? Of me? Yeah. Well, it's very nice of you to offer, Mossip, but I've still got loads of letters to deliver. Oh, come on, Posty, be a sport. It won't take a minute. Oh, I'm sorry, Mossip. I cannot spare you the time at all. I have got work to do. No, but Posty, Posty... Oh, are there any letters today? Not today, Mossip. Oh, dear, oh, dear. No letters. Nobody to paint. What a life. Hmm. Oh, what's the matter, Mossop? You look a bit fed up. Fed up is what I am, Marjorie. What's the use of being a great artist when you ain't got nobody to paint? Tiddler let me down, and now Posty has too. Oh, hmm. well, cheer up. You can paint me if you like. Oh, can I? Can I really? Yes, of course. It'll be lovely to have a picture of myself. I can put it up on the cottage wall. So you could. Oh, wonderful. Well, if you just stand there, I'll get straight down to work. Ooh. Will I do here? Yes, perfect, perfect. Oh, yes, I can feel this is going to be my greatest painting ever. Tiddler's all right, by the way. I put some ointment on her wasp sting and it took all the pain away. Uh, good, but I'd be grateful if you didn't speak, Marjorie, because when you speak, you see, you move your mouth and that makes it difficult to paint it. <laughs> Sorry. Uh-huh. Oh, sir. Mm. Uh, please, don't speak. I'm trying to do your face now and it isn't easy, Marjorie. I know, but didn't you feel those drops of rain? Uh, I think we'd better mm. go in before we get wet. No, we can't go in yet, Marjorie. I haven't finished your portrait yet. <sighs> Good. Uh, 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 where are you gone now? Oh, come on, Mossop. You'll get soaked. I'm not coming in, Marjorie, until I've finished my painting. I came out here to do a portrait, and a portrait is what I'm going to do. But there isn't anybody to do a portrait of. <sighs> oh, yes, there is, Marjorie. The only person I can rely upon to stay where he's put and not to go wandering off or jumping about all over the place. I'm going to do a portrait of myself. Oh, yes, must have you handsome devil. Oh, beautiful. All right. Oh, I can't believe why I didn't use you in the first place. Oh, yes, lovely. 